The Canadian Taxpayers Federation is calling on the Alberta government to hold a referendum to see if Albertans want to use millions of tax dollars to support a bid on the 2030 Commonwealth Games. The province, along with the cities of Calgary and Edmonton, are spending about $4 million to study whether our province should host the Games. Now to chat about this in more detail is the Alberta Director of the CTF, Chris Sims, who joins us here from Lethbridge. Chris, the state of Victoria and Australia just cancelled its plans to host the 2026 Commonwealth Games after the estimated price tag jumped to more than $6 billion? Yeah, that wasn't a typo. It surprised me too. So it's over $7 billion Australian, but when you do the conversion, it's over $6 billion Canadian. Now, apparently they were playing around with where to host it and they were going to spread it over a bunch of different cities and change the venues, but <laughs> that is just way too much money. It's an eye-popping amount of money. And obviously Alberta taxpayers don't have that kind of cash. And closer to home here in Canada, Hal, uh, the city of Hamilton, Ontario also said no thanks. And that's when their price tag hit $500 million. So we think the province of Alberta really needs to tap the brakes here and hold a referendum. So why would the province even consider this, considering how many Albertans are still struggling with a high cost of living? Do officials believe there's a solid return on investment, bringing in lots of tourism dollars for our hotels and restaurants? Yeah, for sure. That's a great question. And we're getting some email back from our supporters saying, hey, we really like sports or we really want to go to a table tennis tournament over 12 days. And, you know, this isn't about whether or not we like sports. Uh, most people do or they want to have a good time. Most people want to have a good time. But that's a huge question if we're actually getting good return on investment or good value for money. We have not yet seen a convincing analysis showing that we're going to get good value for money here. And these price tags being bandied around are eye popping. And you nailed it there. Affordability is key right now. We are seeing record demand for charities like food banks. That means that there are working people who are going to charity for jars of peanut butter and canned tuna. Why are we thinking about spending millions and millions of taxpayers dollars on hosting a sporting event? At the very least, we deserve a say. And so Premier Daniel Smith is right by telling her Minister of Sport and Tourism, hey, in the future, we want to have a referenda whenever these sorts of big tournaments are pitched at us. But we think this one counts too. Thanks so much, Chris. That was Chris Sims, the Alberta Director of the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, joining us here at Lethbridge.